Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to make a simple Android application for password management. The application would look like this. So basically the user would uh, choose the configuration or the content of the password, let's say lowercase and numeric, and they can generate it. They can also change the password size to let's say 20 for example, this generator, and you can see here the password being generated. The user can also copy the password and uh, paste it somewhere. Uh, you can just paste it in a Chrome tab here, like so. I can get back to show you that it's exactly the same password. All right, so uh, in here I have an empty activity for uh, a new project on Android. Let's click on Finish. And um, the project is getting built, so let's give it some time. All right, so now it's ready. Uh, we have our activity here. It's it's clearly empty. Um, the first thing to do is I'm going to run it just to see the results after the uh, default build. It takes some time to build. You can see right here. All right, it's launching the app. Okay, so by default, this is the application. And the first thing to do is I'm going to change the colors uh, of this uh, bar and of the uh, top menu. So we can do that in uh, res resources, values, and we can go to theme. Here you can find the colors primary and color secondary. Um, these are stored in the colors.xml. We can change it here, for example, for purple, I'm just going to use the blue one. Same for this one. I'm not going to change names, you can do it if you wish, but I'm just going to change the colors like so for now. Um, and in themes you can see that they, they have changed, this one's here. Uh, back to main activity, we can relaunch our application to see the difference. Now you can see that the color has changed to blue. The second thing to do is to remove this uh, top action bar. We can do it in themes. Instead of having a dark action bar, we can type no action bar. Save it and rerun. So here the action bar has disappeared. Now what we need to do is I'm just going to clean these tabs here and I'm going to create a new package and I'm going to name it uh, models and here I'm going to create classes that are going to allow us to generate passwords so let's go and create a password generator class and I'm going to make it abstract for now and in this class we are going to have a list of generators so private static array list of password generators is going to be just name it generators then I'm going to add some methods that are going to allow us to add or clear the generators list so public static void clear if generators is not null then generators equals to to I'm sorry dot clear if it's also else generators equals to new array list. So now we have our clear method. Now next step is to add so public static void add password generator and here this dot generators dot g sorry it's not this because it's static so generators dot add this. Alright, so this is good for now. Normally uh, we have to clear it before using add, so we are going to have a new array list in case it's null. Um, next step to do is I'm going to, we are going to have multiple password generators, so we need to create an abstract method to get the character. So public abstract string get char and then 
the next step is to uh, create the other generators. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, let's start with lower case generator. Here is going to be a simple uh, lowercase generator where we are going to generate characters from lowercase a to lowercase z. So let's go ahead and do that it's simply using ASCII, ASCII code. So static, private static final char a is going to be this. And I'm going to do the same for z. And here we are going to extend the password generator to implement the method get char. And here we're just going to return a random value between A and Z. To do that, I'm going to create a helper class. Helper class. And in this helper class, I'm going to add a static method, public static string method that would generate random char. And here we're going to give it uh, two uh, attributes. It's the min and the max. And um, this method would return a random value between the max minus min plus one plus the minimum value and we're going to also create the random value method so public static should be an integer sorry here random value and here we're going to give it an integer as a parameter and we're going to use the function uh, random from math class so double rand equals to math dot random then we're going to return the integer value of the rand multiplied by the size okay so back to our method here we're just going to return a string dot value of and here we're going to uh, get the character value of the helper class dot random character that is going to be the char e a and char c so basically here we're going to get a random value between the, the ascii code of character a and the ascii code of the character z and then the uh, random integer value will be converted to a character and then we're going to get the string value of it uh, we're going to do the same thing for the uppercase so i'm just going to copy the same class upper case generator and instead of lowercase a we're going to change it to lower uppercase a and z same logic and we're going to do the same thing for the numeric uh, generator and instead of a and z we're going to have 0 and 9 okay so here char 0 and here char 9 okay so that's good to go and we're gonna add one last uh, uh, one last class for the uh, special characters so special characters generator and in here we're just gonna add a private static list of characters that is going to contain the special characters and I'm just going to use a special character list that I have already prepared like this one it's a string but we can use the chart array to convert it to a chart array then we can remove these two and now we can generate a random value between this and length minus one since we are going to get the random value, it's just going to be the index value. Uh, now we just need to get the special character of that index. 
and uh, this is going to be a character so we can convert it to a uh, string and we can remove the character all right so this looks good i'm just going to change this to special char array and um, we can make a file okay so that's good for now we need to go back now to our password generator and here we are going to call a method to get a random password generator from the user so uh, here the generators list will get a list of these password generators either lowercase or uppercase or numeric or even special character generator and for each loop we are going to get a random generator from these ones and the, we are going to get a character from it and then use it in the password that we're going to generate so to do so we need a public static uh, password generator that is going just to give us a random value so get random pass generator here if oh sorry if the password uh, generators equals to null then we are going to uh, create a new array list and fill it with a default uh, generator let's add uh, the we can use the def the add method that we have um, can clear this generators dot clear um, sorry it shouldn't be cleared so once the generator is null we are going to add the new lowercase generator I have just used a lowercase generator as a default uh, generator you can use whatever you want and uh, once that is done if the generators dot size is one then we are going to return uh, generators dot get the first item and if it's not the case we are going to get a random value from the helper class uh, random value of generators dot size so once we have the random uh, index we can return generators dot get that random value just to be precise it's a random index okay so this would give us a random generator and now we are going to attack the public static string generate password password here is going to have a parameter which is the size of password and um, okay so we can do this as private since we don't need to call it outside of the class and here we are going to use a string builder to build our password so password equals a new string builder so we're going to return it return password dot to string and inside here we are going to loop over the size of the password as long as it's different from zero then we are going to add password dot append and here we are going to call uh, get random password generator and we're going to call the method get char that we have uh, we have added in the uh, in the class which is here once we have the password we have incremented we have added a new character to the password then we can reduce one from the size of the password and we're going to have our password here the next step would be to test this out on the uh, main activity so let's go for layout main activity let me just clean this out and here we're going to split and give this one an ID text value we can go to our main activity the Java which is right here 
and here we are going to create a method gener uh, init views and here we are going to get create a private text view just gonna name it that for now equals to find view by id or error dot id dot this and then we are going to get this dot set text and we're going to call our password generator dot generate password of size nine for example let's run this and see how it looks like Okay, so we have a little password here, random password. If I rerun the application, I'm gonna have a different one. So it looks good for now. Um, we can add in the password generator, we can add new uh, numeric uh, generator. Let's run it again. Um, we're having an error. Yeah, because we should clear it first. So password generator dot clear. And then we are going to add lower case generator, then the numeric one. All right, so there is numbers and lowercase, so it looks good for now. Uh, let's go ahead and set up our interface to make it more user friendly. Let's go to main activity and I'm just going to remove the text view here for now. Not to cause problems. I'm going to delete this and I'm going to create a linear layout. Uh, wrap content and then I'm going to go back to design. So like this, I'm going to center it in the screen like so. All right, so it's centered back to here. First thing to do is we're going to add text view, uh, wrap, let's make a match parent and hide wrap content. Text, click on generate. Okay, now I'm just going to, for the width, I'm just gonna give it match parent. I'm gonna give it margin horizontal of 30 dB. Then we're gonna add a button, uh, match parent wrap content, and for the text, we're gonna type copy. Then we're gonna add here an orientation for the layout, orientation vertical. For the text that we have generated, I'm gonna add a gravity to center the text, and I can change the text size to, let's say, 30 SP. Uh, that's too much. Let's give it 20, 20 or 25. I can give it 25. Then uh, we are going to add a linear layout to group all the match parent wrap content to group all the options. So here, text view, match parent wrap content, and for the text, choose the password content. And for the te text color, text color, we can give it black for now. And then we are going to have a bunch of uh, checkboxes, match parent wrap content. For the text, we are going to set the first one to be lower case. And back to our linear layout, we need to add the orientation vertical to have one under the other. I'm gonna duplicate the checkbox to have upper case, and then uh, numeric value, and special characters, or special, special chores. All right, so we have our checkboxes here. The last thing to do is another linear layout, uh, match parent height uh, wrap content, orientation um, horizontal, 
and here we're gonna have a text view uh, with just app content wrap content and the text is password size and an edit text for the user to input their um, data so place a uh, hint enter the password size and okay that looks good for now um, mm -hmm. we can give this a weight of one this one as well just to center everything out with zero db for this one and this one okay or give this one two okay let's keep it that way and uh, last we are going to add a button match parent wrap content and for the text we're going to give it uh, generate okay so margin top gdp this one as well margin top so gdp just to space some things up and uh, last thing to do is to get create some ids so here text uh, password results button id button copy for this checkbox id check and here lower id check then upper id i need to do this check numeric id check special character and here for the edit text id edit uh, password size last id button generate okay so i think that's good next thing is to go to main activity and get all the fields or the views that we have set up in here private edit text so we have um one single edit text for the password size so edit password size private text view i'm just gonna take one text view which is this one because uh, we're gonna use it to change its value so let's go ahead and type text password generated and uh, we're gonna have some check boxes so check for lower and then check for upper and then check for special char and a check for a numeric then we are going to have buttons so private button we have a button for the generate and a button for copy let's go to our init views and let's initialize all these attributes that we have here so edit password size equals to find view by id or dot id dot edit password size i'm going to duplicate this multiple times copy that this one this one this one this one oops this one and lastly this one now we're just going to change these values so text password results uh, check lower check uh, upper check special char 
check numeric button generate and button copy so we have all our views here next thing to do is uh, set up some click listeners so set up or just click listeners create method here for the click listener what matters are the two buttons so generate and copy so let's start with button generate dot set on click listener just gonna add the lambda method here and so once the user clicks on generate what we need to do is we need to read the value of the password size and read what is checked here and then we can uh, generate the password here first thing is we can set up here if you want a, a value so I'm gonna set default value to 8 here and I'm gonna check by default this one this uh, checkbox just to have some default um, checked values back to main activity so let's get um, integer password size equals to we need to get the edit password size dot get text dot to string and once we have that we need to parse it to integer so integer in integer dot parse int and we're going to pass this uh, we can make sure that the user has correctly input the uh, a number by adding here type input type and we can use number decimal and just for style we're just going to center the value back to main activity we have the password size here we can check if password size is greater than 8 we can uh, output uh, an error message to do that we can add like a little text view here so back to this after the linear layout and before the button just gonna add the text view match parent wrap content gravity center text color um, do red danger and we're gonna create this I'm gonna use okay so that looks good uh, just to see how it looks like I'm gonna put something here all right so I'm just going to delete this and add a new ID because we're going to change the value using Java. So uh, text error. We can go back to our main activity and for the text view here we can add text error message in our init values. I'm just going to do it here. Text error message and for the ID I'm going to paste it. So we can get back here if the password is less than eight uh, we can change the text error message I'll set text um, password size must be greater than eight and uh, just to hide the message in case there is nothing no errors gonna set it to empty here so that if no condition is met the error message will be empty then we're gonna add another condition if in here the user might uncheck all the all the fields here and it might cause a problem so to avoid that I'm gonna, we are gonna check the uh, generators if it's empty so here we're going to password generator dot um, can get the public static boolean is empty return generators dot uh, is empty here we're gonna call this dot is empty 
if it's empty here the text error message we can set the text to be please select a, well, select at least one um, password I don't know what we've called it here one password content type or something like that you can you can be creative in the name and then if we are having these errors I'm just going to add return so that we don't execute the next part of the code so then if all is set we need to check what are the uh, checkboxes that were checked so let's go ahead and first thing to do is to get the password generator and clear it then um, check the checkboxes checkboxes for lower dot is checked here we are going to password generator dot add lower uh, it's new lowercase generator gonna add more numeric numeric password generator and here upper case then upper password generator and then lastly it's sp uh, check special character special character generator once we have all the uh, password generators we can check okay so here for this error we can set it here because it should be after the user input and if it's not empty then we can generate our password so string password equals to password generator dot generate password and the size is the same size that was input entered by the user so here once we have our password we need to set the text password generated dot set text and we can give it the value of the password that we have generated okay so let's run this see how it looks like okay I'm just gonna close the app and reopen it okay so this is the app here we can click on generate so we have some random values here I can change the size and put it to 2 there is our message I'm gonna give it 9 okay it looks good uh, 20 I'm gonna add uppercase I'm gonna remove lower numeric then numeric and upper add special characters add lowercase as well so okay this password generator is good now we're left with the copy we need to add the code for the copy just gonna hide this button copy dot set on click listener view then we do oh, do this and here for the uh, for the copy we need to call a clipboard manager so clipboard manager manager equals to we need to cast it to clipboard manager get system service system service and here context dot context dot clipboard service then the manager set primary clip and here clip data dot new plain text and here we can give it just a label password and here we're gonna get the generated password so text password generator don't get text to string to string and we're just gonna add a toast toast saying that the password has been copied password copied and uh, let's see all right so i'm just gonna add this 20 generate so we have our notification 
Let's try to see if it gets copied actually. Let's go to Chrome. Okay, paste it here just to check. There is 08, so yeah, that's good. So our application now can generate passwords. We can copy and paste it wherever you want. That's it for this video. I'll catch you in the next one.